Molten lava from Kilauea leaving behind a trail of fire on the Big Island as the National Guard now moves in. Good evening. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Yenji Denise. Call it luck or nature's unpredictable moves, but the flow seems to have suddenly stalled right at the edge of one man's house. We have team coverage tonight. Brent Noir is standing by with how residents and spectators are taking to the flow. But first, we send it to KITV Force Laurie Amata, who's on the Big Island with the latest on Pele's fiery path. It's a full house here at Bahoa High School, the first community meeting in a week, and all the agencies were represented here. A big focus, safety and security. Just today, two people were arrested for trespassing on people's property to try and get to that lava flow. That diligence praised by the crowd here tonight. A round of applause for our, our community emergency response team. That team holding its first full community meeting in a week. The lava flow now 160 yards from Pahoa Village Road. Very little movement at the flow front. In fact, nearly a standstill, just a few feet from a man made berm to protect the nearest resident's home. The bad news geologists say the flow and the tube that feeds it is getting fatter, wider, and taller behind the front. Fingers of lava poking out the sides to the north and south, emphasizing how unpredictable it is and the need for security. It's not an easy decision. Every decision needs to be balanced. I know sometimes people aren't uh, always, you know. Going to be happy, but just please know that we're making the decision in the best interest of everybody um, and maintain keeping everybody safe. Uh, Mayor Billy Kinoy again joined emergency officials talking about the at times experimental efforts by crews, including thermal blankets and concrete around utility poles. One pole still burning beneath the ground, but fire crews standing by to super soak the spot with a specialized foam mix. Some 80 National Guard members rolled into town to help with police presence. Today, two people were arrested for trespassing on someone's property. Officials emphasizing this may be the beginning of a harder stand. Knowing the stunning nature of that slow moving flow, sure to attract even more. I'm very blessed because um, my former boss, Deputy Police Chief Potter, he comes every day to check on my welfare. Yeah, and he has promised, assured me that um, he would have officers patrolling our private road because we've been having people walking through. And the mayor here tonight giving uh, the folks an update on the work on the chain of Craters Road, the construction there. They say construction is moving fast and they expect it to be completed in just a matter of weeks. In Pahoa on the Big Island, Laurie Amata, KITV4 News.